Good morning everyone. It's Monday the 7th of March. Um, we didn't get much filming done over the weekend purely because all of the jobs that we were doing were little niggly finishing off jobs. Um, loads of intricate measuring and sewing and just head battering jobs and we just didn't have the wherewithal um, to film and get it right because we didn't always get it right uh, the first time or even the second time so um, I just thought I would crack on with some more jobs today but first of all I'll show you what we finished off over the weekend We have officially finished all of the ceiling and it is huge. So we've finished around both of the sky vents and I've just taken the covers down because this morning I'm going to sand and start painting. We've finished the sides all of the preliminary wiring is in place for the lights and where the solar is going to come through which we're super pleased with and we have seen the headboard what else did we do um, we have all of the runners for the blinds on except for where over this side I'm going to have a big splashback that goes from the wood to the workbench and on this side we're going to have a big um, cover here because we need a large strong shelf because that's where our power oak is going to sit and that's the solar coming through to charge the power oak. So lots and lots of painting. We have um, just cut and measured and cut and measured lots of things for me to get on with, one being um, a, a finishing off of down between this window and the back of the kitchen worktop all the way along because it looks a bit naff from the outside um, and it'll also provide a little lip on the back of the kitchen workbench so that things don't roll and fall off that way. We've also cut both of these um, splashbacks that I was talking about. So I have to paint those front and back because they're going to be seen from outside the window as well as inside. So my first job, as I say, I'm going to start sanding down some of the filler that I used um, on the ceiling and then get painting it. It does look and smell like a sauna. So that's everything sanded, but wouldn't be Monday if I didn't have to hoover the whole bus out and now I've made the mess, I'm going to clear it up. So I've hoovered and 
cleared all the dust out of the way I've put down um, an old sheet where I'm working and I've got a bit of masking tape covering over the lovely blinds so I'm going to start with my first coat just all white Max you can hear you can see another dog and he thinks I'm in danger it's okay just coming in by my feet and it's absolutely lovely. So that's the first coat done. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to do a second coat and then I'll need to do all the little touching up with a brush kind of thing in the grooves starting to look good and that's the second coat a little bit rough around some of the far edges but really nice it's gone on lovely and smooth very pleased there is so much light bouncing around so I'm gonna let that dry and Tomorrow I will get in with my brush and I'll finish all the little edges and the little cracks and grooves from the tongue and groove and that is another job done. This is where I'm up to with the control panel. So after making my template and marking that out on this big piece of ply. Um, it's been cut out and roughly got where the light switches are going to go and some of the other things, um, LPG monitoring and you know fuel gauges, battery gauges, that kind of thing. And so I'm just doing some design so that it matches in with the colours that we have in the rest of the bus. So this just needs to dry off now. And I'm going to try stripping out the masking tape. cool so I'll let that dry then tomorrow I'll tape it up again and I'll get the other bits done I think that's gonna look really cool behind the driver's seat afternoon everyone it's Thursday the 10th of March and I'm still just plodding on getting all the little jobs done what I'm doing at the moment I've just marked up um, some tongue and groove that I stuck together to make um, a little what can I call it it's like down the back of the kitchen cabinets between the back of the kitchen cabinet and the window there's a very um, small space sort of about this this wide um, and what we don't want is when you look through the window to be able to just see the the rough backs of the kitchen cabinets so I'm marking out some leftover tongue and groove and I'm going to paint them up in the colours that I used for the headboard and the um, window blind runners and just see if that makes um, a tidy finish when you're outside looking in and hopefully what it'll also do is just give us a tiny sort of um, two three centimeter lip at the back 
of the kitchen workbench in case anything rolls off or whatever save it rolling and falling down in that space It's actually warm enough to uh, have taken my fleece off for the first time this year. So Darren and I were sort of discussing over the weekend about how we just want to get this done, get it finished and uh, the jobs that are left to do are all of these really time consuming little niggly jobs. Um, but we're just uh, ploughing on through them. Darren's actually got a week off work next week. So we're hoping to get a lot of things finished. And uh, we're just so excited about being able to get away and do something exciting. Not be stuck here working in the garden when we want to be out and about so uh, we have got a few plans for the summer and several people have asked if we sort of have things that uh, are booked in and planned and we have uh, so we're excited that we've booked up to go to the big vegan camp out and uh, that should be a really good weekend get to put the bus to its full use and uh, have fun getting away because sometimes it just really feels like you're stuck in a rut and uh, we're also gonna go to Camp Quirky this year I've never been before always seen lots of videos about it and uh, thought we would give it a try for ourselves so if anybody's going then leave us a, a note in the comments and uh, you never know might see see us there when we're wandering around let's come and say hello so i'm just going to crack on with this to um, sort out this is going to be my splash back and in the kitchen over the hob so I have two large tiles that are going to go on this section and then it also acts as the runner for the blind on that side and on this side The tiles are going to sit on there so they're washable and then I need to decorate the top bit front and back because you're going to be able to see it from the other side of the window and uh, I'll probably put like a spice rack or something over here 
make good use of the space. And on this side, this is between the sitting area and the bedroom. I'm going to have another board which acts as the runner for the blind in the seating area and the blind in the bedroom and above it there will be a large shelf up here and that's going to house our power oak and these um, wires, the two wires there, are the ones coming through from the solar panel on the roof. Looking smart? Looking really good. Cool. Looks really nice. So we've got our light switches, yeah, already in place, ready to be connected from the back. We have our Propex heater thermostat. Uh, that's this one here. This is our LPG level, so the level of uh, LPG that we have in our tank. And this is our 12 volt battery monitor. This one here. And over here we have two USB sockets, which will be used for powering a speaker, which is going to go here and also our internet box which is going to go here on a shelf not just floating in the air <laughs> be on the shelf cool It's about 5.30 now, so we're going to call it a day. What we've managed to do is refit the covers on both of the skylights and wire up the lights, which are looking really cool. So light over the hob and over the sink and then over both of the sitting positions. We've also got the splash, splash black, splash black, splash black. What's that word? Splash back done. Um, and that's gonna have some um, tiles along the bottom half top half I've filled in all the screw holes and then I'm going to paint that and I'll have a spice rack up above there and as you saw earlier the control panel is all in and they're all fit into the control panel. I'll quickly take it outside. Then from the outside, that's how we've finished the work kitchen worktop because it's higher than the window. These are all just holding it in place till the glue and everything goes off. And the design goes up and continues on on the back of the splash back and that side too although it's full of toolboxes and everything we could find to hold against the window so I'll show you that one in the morning when all the glue's gone off you've just been a patient boy while we're busy yeah patient boy so while Darren's muttering away to himself, I <laughs> thought I'd just show you what I've been doing today because um, he's getting a bit fed up. <laughs> and I can't crimp um, it. How much more can I crimp it? Yeah. I can't crimp it anymore, can I? No. Nope. Uh, sorry, love. You go. <laughs> 
So we're on to trying to finish off all the little decorative and fiddly bits, which takes the time. Um, so today I've been um, painting lots of little fiddly bits and varnishing and I'll show you. This is the splashback that we've got in place over the hob. Um, I've done a couple of coats of paint just on the top half and the bottom half has got its first coat of varnish on because I'm going to put a couple of large tiles on there so it's a washable surface and I'm just wanting the ply to be varnished a couple of times so that the tile and grout stuff, the fixative here, won't um, spoil the wood because there's water in the wall tile adhesive and grout. And from the outside, that's what the splashback looks like from the outside.